So first I'm going in with my NYX Shine Killer Face Primer. I absolutely love this primer because it keeps me nice and matte throughout the day and it also keeps my face nice and smooth. So next I'm going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I am in the shade 103 when I am tan. I absolutely love this foundation you guys. It is sweat proof and I'm just going to take that with my damp beauty blender and dot it all over my face. And then after I have it dotted all over my face, I'm just going to buff that out in patting motions. concealer I am in the shade 15 fair um, I put this under my eyes to help cover up those dark circles because let's be real none of us get enough sleep and after I put it under my eyes I don't go back into the product I just highlight the bridge of my nose my chin and my forehead with whatever's left on the wand And then going back in with my damp beauty blender, I am just going to run it over those spots and buff out the concealer so I have a nice even coverage and not these crazy lines on my face. Okay, so now I'm going into my NYX contour kit and taking this light pink shade and banana shade and just setting those places that I just highlighted with my concealer. Next I am taking this Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer in the shade Park Avenue Princess and I am just taking that on a Real Techniques sculpting brush and dabbing it into the hollows of my cheeks. I'm not taking this down too far since it's contour and we don't want to line straight down the side of our face. After I get the desired amount on each cheek, which isn't a lot, I will just take that Real Techniques brush and buff it out. I'm also going to put this bronzer onto my forehead and on my chin just to give my face a little more definition and a little more color since when we put that foundation on they kind of made our face flat. Going back into my contour kit I am going to take those two bronzier shades and just lightly buff those over top of our contour just to give me more of a natural color and not so much of an ashy color on the cheeks. I'm also going to take this down onto my chin and up on my forehead where we did that contour as well. Next, I am just taking some more of that concealer that I used on my face and priming my eyelids with it for um, eyeshadow. So I'm just taking that and blending it out with my finger and then I'm going in with my beauty blender and blending it out even more. This will also help cover up those veins I've got going on in my eyes and help the eyeshadow stick better. So now I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture palette and I'm going in with the color Soft Peach just to set everything on my eyes. I mean the concealer. Next I am going into the shade Bellini. It's this pretty satiny goldish peachish pink color and I am just going to take that on a crease brush and blend that into my crease to make it the transition color for my look. going into the shade fudge it's this matte brown color it's a really pretty soft brown and I'm just going to take that into the outer 
third of my eye and blend that out and make this look a little more smoky but not quite over the top because this is an everyday look. going into is my absolute favorite it is pink champagne it is this metallic pink color I absolutely love it it's like foiled and glittery everything I could ask for in an eyeshadow to be totally honest so I'm just taking this with my fingers since that gives the most opaque um, transfer um, and I'm just going to blend that onto my actual lid itself and not to go up into the crease Okay, and then I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of fudge just to darken up that outer V again because we kind of lost it when we put the pink champagne color on our eyes. And then we are also going to go in with the color Chic. It is this light, goldeny, silver color. And I'm just going to put that into the inner corners of my eye just to brighten my eyes up and make me look more awake. And then I'm also taking that same fudge color on a flat brush and going under my eyes just to define it a little bit and smoke it out a little bit just so we're not super top heavy with all of the color next I'm going back into that NYX contour kit and taking the light shimmery white shade and I'm taking it on the same brush I used to set my under eyes and just lightly dusting it along the tops of my cheekbones this will give us a more pronounced cheekbone and it also just helps highlight that high cheekbone we've got going on. I'm also taking this on the tip of my nose on my cupid's bow to make my top lip look a little fuller since it's pretty small. Next I am just quickly giving my lashes a curl using this eyelash curler that I got in my ipsy bag and then I am going in with one of my favorite mascaras, it's actually just in a different tube. Um, it is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Retro Glam, and I am just quickly fast forwarding through this because it takes me forever to do my lashes. And I am just coating my lashes with mascara. I'm giving it a couple of coats just because I like my lashes to look extra defined and extra voluminous. Next for my lips, I am taking this Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bella. I got this in my Birch Box. It is such a stunning color. I absolutely love it. So I am just going to take this and very carefully apply this to my lips because it is a very long lasting liquid lipstick. Look at that color girl. <laughs> and so yeah, I'm just being super careful putting this on my lips because if I ac accidentally miss my lips, or go too far out or mess it up it is extremely hard to get this off because it dries instantly and stays so I guess it's a good and a bad thing and to set my entire face I am taking this NYX matte finish spray and spritzing that all over my face and giving myself a good douse of that and so that is the complete look I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and liked this tutorial. If you like more videos like this, just give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!